Okay, this is how to take Razorfin Crawl on a Protection Warrior. This is the first boss. Um, I made a mistake here. You want to make sure that you're the first person to pull. And one of the hunter, I think it was the hunter or the mage, actually pulled these mobs. And that separated the boss who is a caster from the two melee mobs that you're going to have to tank, the two adds. But it, they're not too hard to pick up. So this boss really, that's you just have to worry about his two adds. Um, this entire dungeon, there's not really any hard pulls trash wise. It's mostly just a bunch of shamans and as long as you hit that earthbind totem, you shouldn't have any problems. If you did forget and one was to get away from you, all, then you could be rooted. So try to make sure that you get the earthbind totems. Um, really that's all there is to this boss. He's not hard and this dungeon isn't really that hard either it has a lot of bosses though uh, which is a change from the last few dungeons I've done which have only had like two bosses apiece this one has five I believe so that was that one okay here's the second boss again someone else aggros um, he summons some little uh, ghost pigs Really, as long as you thunderclap every once in a while, you'll pick them up no problem. That's really all he does. These two are kind of mini bosses. They are not real bosses, I don't guess. But they do drop blues, so definitely worth going down the two side to kill. And there's one of those pigs that I was talking about. Um, our DPS in this run was pretty... pretty slacking I guess um, here's the third boss now these two he has two ads with him which right here the rogue in this group saps one so I just pull it the boss away from him so that the sap can stay if you wanted to in this group that I was running with we actually had a mage and a rogue we could have cc'd both of these mobs and just fought the boss but it's not that hard to tank all them with all the ads if you have a healer who maybe isn't as great as you'd like you can go ahead and see see those this boss doesn't do anything different so you just it's really just a tank and spank with a two ads um, our healer in this run he was a balanced druid so the heals my health actually drops kinda low because he actually um, I guess he was just DPS and, and then he just let me get low and then healed me back up um, as a tank, I don't like to see that, but really, if you can get through a dungeon with a fourth DPS, then that's fine. Um, this boss is the fourth boss. He doesn't do anything at all. It's just a big pig. Sometimes you'll have hunters in your group that may want to tame him. Uh, and it's up to the group, really, but... If there are anyone's ever with me and they want to tame this guy, I always just say fine. Because even if you do get any of the loot from him, you're probably going to replace it in the next level or two. It's no big deal. Um, okay, that's really all. He's just a tank and spank again. This dungeon is full of tank and spanks. There's not really anything much to any of the fights. Now this coming up is the last boss in the dungeon. Um, he's kind of like a hybrid of two classes. He's a, like a shaman with a paladin bubble. So, um, he doesn't really do anything when he goes in his bubble. He just goes immune to damage. So, you just tank him like you normally would. He's just going to be immune to damage every once in a while. Um, right here I actually remember that I am trying to, uh, get this footage for these videos so I try to spin him around um, I try to get a better camera angle than looking at him through the door here and I think he has chain lightning so you may want to face him away I spun him around to try to get a better view for the videos that I was making but that's really all there is to this dungeon this is not one that I would even try to run if you we're questing the quests are a lot more entertaining this is kinda just boring 
And that's all there is.